What's going on fam, it's your boy. In today's edition of the AO, man, I'm like so surreal. I had the opportunity to sit down and talk with young men who've made some bad decisions in life, but they're going down the right path right now. These guys, man, have experienced a lot. Their story is gonna bless you. Keep it locked right here. It's the AO, a special edition. Let's go. All right, brothers, man, I appreciate y'all for chilling out with me, getting some pizza today. Uh, real quick, um, let's just tell everyone your name. Don't give them your last name, because I'm with them to Google y'all and look, look y'all brothers up, especially for the ladies. Really? What? Sanchez? Yes, Sanchez. I like it. Sanchez. Okay. KT? <laughs> KT? Sanchez, KT. Hey, Trey. Trey. Two. Chub, what the? <laughs> chub, what does that mean? Chub. I used to be a chub when I was baby. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and my name, uh, my name is Skinny. <laughs> At this table, all of us have literally made some some bad mistakes in the past. I know I have, and some crucial mistakes. Um, and some of you all have made some some bad mistakes. Any of you all? Uh, feel comfortable sharing very quickly what were some of the mistakes that you made yeah talk to them. i was on the football team but football you know, uh they had told me that i couldn't play because my grade from eighth grade so basically i've been off since eighth grade oh wow since like the end of the eighth grade then last year i had a baby well the year after that i had a baby and then i changed my life i came to cone and trying to change and graduate that's good trying to change so eighth grade, you kind of dropped off a little bit. Ninth grade year, you didn't really push it. 10th grade year, didn't you had a baby. You didn't do nothing, you yeah. had a baby. Yeah, I had a baby. And so I gotta ask you this question, man. Are you a sperm donor or are you a father? I'm a father. And you know what I mean by saying a father, right? You're in the child's life and you're taking on responsibility. Yes, That's good, man. I, I give you credit on that. We don't have a lot of brothers that are fathers, you know? So I love it. And I also think as well, you got a baby on the way. Okay, how, how much longer you got? I got to December. December, the baby coming in December. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about your story. I know you got a whole list, but just, just a little bit of your story. Exactly like him. Mm -hmm. My eighth grade, I didn't even care. I was just chilling, playing, playing football and stuff. Then I got to high school. I was going to East Robson at the time. I got to high school, started playing, playing with the girls. Just playing with the girls. Yeah. Just, I feel you on that one though. I was with yeah. you. And then, when my mom told me she was pregnant, I was like, I wouldn't dare let my daughter grow up. But I heard dad ain't got no diploma in a while. Okay. And she gonna just be like, well, my daddy, he just he just a thug. Oh. And he just do this. Yeah. I don't want my daughter to look, like that. look at me like that. I want her to see a good person, somebody that made some of themselves, or she can make some of herself. One more person. What about you, man? Talk to me. What's, what's your story a little bit? Man, um, it's good here. I, um, I've been focused more on my job. Okay. In school. Um, I was having problems with my mother. Wait, wait, wait. You were working in the eighth grade? Yes, sir. I've been working before eighth grade. Wow. I, was younger, um, I never really had my mother and my father in my life. Okay. But I've always had, uh, you know, people motivate me to work, motivate me to go to school and be better. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I had to pay rent, bills and stuff, so I had to, I had to go to work and you know, step going to school. Yeah. Um, I began, my grades started to drop. I went to high school, freshman year, it didn't go so good, you know. I, I missed half of the year. You know? Wow. Sophomore year, sophomore year in December was pretty much my last month. January, I started, I started working, started working, started working, man. I started getting, I had to go full time. Um, I got into some problems in school, so I got spilled. Okay. You know, I, I didn't want to go back to school anymore. I had to, I had to work, you know. Yeah. I had to send money back to my country. Yeah. Your country, what's your country? Uh, I was born in Mexico. Mexico. So, okay, okay. I have, a, I have an uncle over there who, he has leukemia, which is blood cancer. Okay. You know, I found that a couple years ago. And when I was younger, he used to take, take care of me so much. So now I try to take care, take care of him as much as I can. So. All of us here, man, have, have gone through some things. I really want to ask this one question. You've already hinted to it a little bit earlier, but um, and I think I'm feeling something here at the table. Do all of you all honestly want to be successful in the future? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cool. So all of us made a lot of mistakes, right? Yes, sir. Where, what does success go? Like, what does it look like for you in the future? I want to be able to support my family. That's good. That's good. I want to be more than support. I just want to put them over the top so they don't have to worry about anything. You don't have to worry about anything. Just like, 
focus on school, like if I have a child and anything, focus on school with my grandma and family, and just focus on just chillaxing, relaxing. Yeah. Just laying back, because they did the hard work. Now it's time for me to pick up the hard work. You all are experiencing things that the average young person is not experiencing. But would you say that you are a little nervous to experience life in the future as far as an, as an adult? I'm no. Fine. I'm ready for it. You ready? I'm ready for it. I'm ready. I've been practicing this my whole life. I got you. I'm not so, going to say I'm necessarily ready, but it's just not urge. I feel like urge. I feel like I put myself in it. And that grown, that grown man predicament, so I'm gonna be a grown man. Oh. So I, I, I say what I say, do what I do. Cause I a man ain't got nothing but his word. Yeah. His bond. So yeah, I gotta be a man. I, 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 had, I made a baby. I gotta be that man for that baby. You I do. gotta be that man for my little brothers. I gotta be that man for my mama. Yeah. What is one thing? You've all made some mistakes. If, if you, could speak to someone else in the eighth grade right now who's about to go into high school, what is one thing you would tell them? You playing football, stick to your grades. I like that. If you're playing football, stick to your grades. Now, why do you say that? You, you get into high school, and if you are like a real, real good player, like I was, the fame, the fame. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything, it, it, it gets to you. Yeah, get to your it, head. It, it to you. The ladies, the cheerleaders, the squad, the community. One thing I would tell you, the eighth grade right now, the play sports, particularly basketball, and they get injured, just, just keep grinding, like, get back into, like, stay active, don't sit around the house and be looking, like, stay in your grades and be mindful that you have people looking at you to see if you can do better than you. That's good. That's good. What would you tell an eighth grader? And I tell an eighth grader to, you know, try to focus the school as much as, can, as much as you can. And, you know, watch his friends. You know, you try people in your life that are more you. Not, you know, you do the bad things. I like that. That joke is said, man, watch your friends. I just talked about that in one of my previous videos, man, about making sure you surround yourself with positive people. So, oh, let's talk about that. Will you all say that every one of y'all lives right now are positive influences on your life? Hey, well, coming into high school, you don't know. You like blindsided. Like, okay. You don't know who the real is. You don't know who the fake is. Okay. That yeah, timber right here, that's when you see the real out of everybody. That's when you see the fake out of everybody. Okay. Okay. So, how do you establish friends then? So, like, here's my thing. What's your definition of real and fake? Real. Somebody's going like, if you're doing wrong, they're going to tell, tell you. I like that. But then, I, if it now, if I see you doing wrong, if I see you smoking weed, and I know that's wrong. And I tell you, hey, bro, that's wrong. Am I lame or am I a real friend? You're a real friend. friend. That's the real. This is like I got some homies that's bad. They 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 finna go do something or something. Whatever they finna do. I nah, bro. You don't even need to do this, bro. Mm -hmm. You got stuff you need to do. Go on in the house. Got you. I'm just on the positive one. Like when it comes to my friends. Yeah, yeah. I'm the. Yeah, you I'm you the that guy. Yeah. Because you've been through a lot too, though. So you already know the road they going down sometimes. I love it. What about you? I don't know. I just got one brother that he about that life. <laughs> <laughs> he been like this since he was young, so that's the That's it, huh? Yeah, my big brother. He gone. He gone. Mm -hmm. Gotcha, man. He got killed when I was twelve. My brother got killed when he was twelve. When you were twelve. I was twelve. How old was he when he died? Sixteen. Sixteen? Young. He was just killed last year. Your brother got killed last yeah, year. How killed. old was he? He was 23. 23, young. He got killed at my brother's basketball game. Young, young. You know, I'm looking at this table, man. I'm going to be real with y'all. Uh, I want to see y'all get old. I want to see y'all watch me die. You know, I don't want to see y'all die before I die. Because y'all some smart, educated brothers. And I think one thing I'm so, was really motivating me so much at this table is I'm seeing young men say, you know what, I messed up, I jacked up, but I'm not gonna do it anymore. I ain't gonna be perfect for the rest of my life, but you know what, I want a better life for me, I want a better life for my future family, and I think that's so important. Raj, you guys, man, this has been probably one of my most favorite conversations in a long time with these solid kids. These ain't kids, these are young men experiencing life on a different level, um, all of us, and I say us, because I'm a part of them. We've all made mistakes. 
but there's three things that they said that I really want you all to take away from. And so like my man said up here in the front, man, he said, choose your friends wisely. Make sure that they motivate you and inspire you. I keep saying that. Like, hey, who you surround yourself with is so important. If you're thinking about smoking a little something, something, or jumping into something, they need to tell you no. They need to tell you, hold on, bro, hold on, bro, hold on. And then number two, man, I like what these two guys said. Like, hey, man, when you're playing sports, if you're playing sports, not just sports, but any activities, make sure that your grades are your number one focus. That is so important right now. Because remember, your mind is your business. And how you get a better business right now, grades play a huge role in that. And number three, I love it. It's the last, but it's definitely the best. Take school seriously. You already know me, it's that serious. And I like that because every decision that you make is going to impact your future. He said, if you go in there the first two days and you just chilling, that's gonna hurt you. Take every single decision that you're making right now seriously. That's what these young men said. And I hope you all take your own advice. I'm gonna be there when all these guys graduate high school, I'm gonna be there. They touched me, man. They touched me, me. I just met these guys today. But I'm gonna get to know them and encourage them. I'm gonna be there, I'm gonna check out your daughter. I wanna meet your daughter. He's some sharp young man. It's time to eat. We got to go. Peace out. Subscribe.